Hi Samuel, hope you are researching well and I have made this short video for you. You can see on my screen I have a class called the credit card which involves the uh, constructor then various function inside. Now you are facing the challenge that how to call the class function and how to invoke the class constructor. So in your case, you are trying to do something and I had asked you questions that if you call the constructor, if you're using the class name like this one. So first of all, you want to access this class members function. So how to do it? So first of all, we need to import the class. So credit card. Credit card is a file name that you are importing, this credit card. How do you want to import? So you can put the uh, like uh, alias of this one. So you can do as capital CC or whichever name you want to give like this. So I'm giving capital CC. Now this 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 file has been imported. Inside this file you have a class class. Okay. So what I do, you are doing? So I can create an object like your x equal to. Now you want to call the constructor means this one do you want to invoke the constructor this part to initialize instance variables so how do we, how do we do so we can use the cc because we are saying import the credit card as a cc so cc dot credit card is a class name so when you invoke the class name when you invoke the class name the when you invoke the class name automatically you are calling constructor so i'm giving a credit card and then the parameters arguments you can see i have a constructor in this credit card i have a one parameter two three four and self is always pointing referring to the current object so done so i have called so when you call this one this this one credit card which is a class name so when you call this class name uh, this the, the this class name it is going to invoke the constructor why because constructor name is same as a class name so they are considering this is your constructor initializing okay so when you call this one this parameter this parameter like a john john doe first bank blah 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 is going to assign into customer bank account limits in the same order so now once you call so x object is created so now x is a object which is a pointing to the credit card so now using the x object which is a pointing to the credit card you can access whatever function you want to call it so let me call any random function get account so when you call this one i am going to run this function at uh, this class run so when you run nothing is output coming why because i am calling x get account let us go to the get, get account so get account returns some account so you need to print it so i can print like this print And then done. Let me run again here and again see here. See output is coming. So for you, I was asking the questions at this line. In your case, it was line number seven. So you need to here. Yeah. Suppose you don't want to import like this as Elias. So you can do like this import only this file. So in this file is imported. Now you can use the which class you want to access those credit card. So I can do only credit card and still it works you can check it out all is well you can see the output here so but this is not good practice because when you have a big file name we can put the alias so cc and better to go with the cc okay now run it done you can see the output so this is the questions you had asked me and i was rushing to join the meeting so I found the time I made the video. Hope this video will help you. Thank you. If still if you have any problem, please don't forget to reach, uh, reach out to me. I will be happy to help you. Thank you.